just listen to this audio. Hello, my name is Suno. And, uh, and I like pizza. <laughs> but um, I also have other interests such as playing tic-tac-toe. Yes, this is AI generated. It sounds real, right? I also didn't believe that this is AI generated when I first heard this audio. So I'm very excited to share this new AI tool with you guys. So without any further delay, let's jump right into the video. So this is their Git sub page and the company called Suno and their AI model is called Bark AI. So basically this is a free and open source AI tool and they have also shared some information here. Bark is a transformer based text to audio model created by Suno. Bark can generate highly realistic multilingual speech as well as other audios including music, background noise and simple sound effects. The model can also produce non-verbal communications like singing, laughing and crying. So this means this is not just limited to the simple AI voice. You can even add music and add emotions in your AI voice. Uh, they have also shared some samples. I have a silky smooth voice. And today I will tell you about the exercise regimen of the common sloth. But this is just a basic voice. And how to add expressions to it, like you heard in the beginning of this video. To do that, you have to add these commands in your prompt. Also share a list of some non-speech sounds like laughing, music, and clearing the throat. And you can add dash or dot 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 for the hesitation. Or you can add the music sign for your music lyrics. Uh, like if you want to create a music, uh, you can add music sign and give it a lyrics and it will generate music out of it. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion barks tonight. So this was a sample of how it can make music out of your lyrics. Obviously, it can be better. And the interesting thing is, this is also capable to clone the voice. And you can also make person to person conversations like this. I would like an omelet latte, please. Wow, that's expensive. This model can support multiple languages and here is the list of the languages that it supports. Right now, you can use it in the Google Collab or in the Hugging Space, but if you want to get its early access, you can click here to sign up for the early access. Just enter your full name, enter your email address, select your interest and help them to understand through what mean you want to use this model. In my case, I want to use its web interface. So let's go to the hugging face and try it out. So this is the first prompt that I tried and this is the output. Hello and welcome. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> I am a little nervous. <laughs> this is not bad actually. Let's try one more. Hello, my name is Hassan, <clears throat> and uh, and I like making YouTube videos, <laughs> but uh, I also have other interests such as singing. So keep in mind that you ha you have to add these words to add expressions in your voice. This time I tried a random joke that I copied from Google and added some expressions in it, and here is the output. Parallel lines have so much in common. It's a shame they will never meet. <laughs> uh, I think that was not funny. Hmm. The joke wasn't funny, but the output is impressive. So you should also give it a try. Uh, this is completely free and open source. Uh, so that's it from this video. If you like this type of AI content, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.